Hi, my name is Tim and today I want to show you a very simple and fast way to create a subtle cinematic look in DaVinci Resolve with a skin tone safe approach. So let's start and open a clip of your choice and just follow the steps. Step 1. Make your color correction. Remember, before color grading you have to color correct your footage. Take care to correct it as perfect as possible and that's very important for this technique. I've already done this step because we don't want to discuss a color correction today. Today we want to talk about how to apply a cinematic look of an easy and very quick way without using a bunch of nodes and endless sessions by pushing and pulling sliders, wheels and curves. Step 2. Add a serial node. Select it and go to the color wheels and then to the color boost field. Now decrease gently and slowly the value of color boost to a value so that your whites and blacks change to cleaner whites and blacks and this will differ between different shots. Now add some saturation but again be careful just a bit. This rises the saturation of the colors which we are left in your image after decreasing the boost. I will not explain the stuff behind this technique further now. All you have to understand for this technique is the following. Color boost will rise or lower the range of saturation of your footage on a naturalistically way in saturation regions. So for example, if you have very low saturated regions in your footage, in other words, values near gray, black or white, you can desaturate these regions by lowering the boost value. And same in other direction if you want to increase it. So in summary we can say that the limiter gives you more clean blacks, grays and whites too if you be carefully in this adjustment and that's a huge difference to other techniques. So now if you have lowered your color boost value renamed your node to limiter, let's get to step 3. Step 3. Add a serial node by hitting Alt and S key on Windows and Option and S key on Mac and now add a layer node by hitting Alt and L key on Windows and Option and L on Mac. Layers in DaVinci Resolve are similar to the layers in Photoshop but the order of the layers in DaVinci Resolve is inverse to the order in Photoshop. That means the bottom node lays on top of the node above. That's important to understand, especially if you want to add more layers to this two layer stack. But for our technique we only need this two layers. Step 4. Select the bottom node, go to the color wheels and there choose your saturation field. Now decrease it to the zero value so that we have a monochrome image. Go to contrast and add a very little contrast to your image but keep it gently. Step 5. Select the bottom node of the layer stack and go to your key panel. Now decrease the value of the key output field to a very low value all the way down. I prefer values between a 0.05 and 0.01, somewhere in between, it depends on your footage and how strong you wish to apply this technique. Looks already good now, but one last thing. Go to the layer mixer node and right click, then under composite mode choose soft light. So we are done now. That's it. You can now play with these adjustments and change the color boost value a bit more or get a bit more saturation on your limiter node. And by the way, you can now apply in addition a LUT on a serial node behind your layer stack too. Let's try this at a last step and let's see what our grading can do for additional LUTs. So let me just look. Um, this seems fine, okay. Here is our LUT in combination with this technique. And if I turn the limiter on and off, you can see how much the look differ to the normal LUT. 
And that's the fun part. So have fun and play with it. Some final remarks. This demonstrated technique is one of many ways to achieve a cinematic look. Uh, of course, uh, there are many other ways, but mostly more complicated and professional too, and with a huge amount of adjustments. And for sure, the more complex ways gives you much more flexibility and variations too. But with this simple and effective technique, you can apply a cinematic look very quick and easy. And it's a very robust technique. If you color correct the footage as good as possible in front of, this technique is skin tone safe too. So if you like the tutorial and want to see some more like this, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have you all a great time. Bye.